Hello guys, welcome back to another Squirt tutorial on how to make a 3D maze game. So this is a simple 3D maze game. It's pretty easy to make and using the arrow keys or was the keys to move. The right arrow key and left arrow keys are to turn right and left. And if we move, yeah, we can move. It's like a 3D cool maze. And if we press space, then we can see the map. Actually, you have to hold it. So, like here, and then I'm going here. So, and if you finish the maze, wait, get going here. Okay, so there's the way out. So, if we finish it, then we can see the you win um, right shown so that is what we're going to make today so in here we have five different sprites so the first sprite the maze it's a simple maze I made and the second one is the player which is a small square 8 times 8 pixels and then the distance finder so we're going to be using this and this is 4 times 4 pixels yeah it's just small like that and then the renderer it's black so this is drawing the 3d maze and the win sprite just a simple you win text okay so in the maze you'll make some Script. So when green flag clicked, forever, if else block, he space pressed, then we will set ghost effect to zero, else we'll set ghost effect to 100. And before all of those, go to x0, zero, y0. Zero. So like that, it disappears, when we hold space, it shows, that's good. Now, in the player, you'll make some basic movement. So when green flag clicked, you'll go to that X and Y position, make sure you want it in that position, in your favourite position. And then we'll put in a forever loop. Before that, we'll point in direction negative 90 because we're going to face that direction at the start. So, forever, we'll put an if or so if key up arrow or key w pressed then we will make a new block naming it move add an input speed and make sure to run without screen refresh so we'll move one step by move speed we will move speed steps and then duplicate this the down arrow and then the S key and then we'll move negative one step and we'll put in an if touching maze then we'll move zero minus speed steps like that now if we were to play it then we can see that our player is moving and okay so now we'll make it turn so if key right arrow or D pressed then we will turn 8 degrees to duplicate that 
put in the left arrow and the A key pressed. Then we'll turn left 8 degrees. Now, if we show it and we can make some simple 3D movement. So this is the 2D version. Now you get it. So now let's make it hide and show like the maze. So we'll just drag and drop. Put it below here. And that solves the problem. So that is for the player and the maze. So in the distance finder sprite. We will put in a when green flag clicked. We will set ghost effect to 100. And then forever we will Make a new block naming it find distance run without screen refresh okay then we'll put that in there and define find distance we'll make a new list naming it all distances and it is for all sprites so delete all of all distances and then we'll set distance to 0 and angle to negative 50. Make sure you do this. And then we will put in a repeat 100. We will point in direction. player and point in direction direction of player plus angle and we'll first set distance to zero we will then go to player and then repeat until we'll put in an or so repeat until touching maze or distance is more than 100 and then we will move one step and we will change distance by one and we will add distance to all distances and then we'll change angle by one so that is the script for the distance finder and before we go to the renderer in here we'll broadcast a message named render so now we'll go into the renderer sprite and then put in a when I receive render we will make a new block named render run without screen refresh and then we'll put it there and then render okay so in the render sprite we'll erase all we'll pen up and we'll set Pen size to 5 and we'll set pen color to color you want. I want it to be dark green. Okay, like that. And like that. And then we'll put in the counter variable here. So set counter to 1 and the counter sprite must be all sprites. And then we'll put in a go to x negative 240 y 0 like that. And we'll repeat 100 then we will pen down and we'll put in a condition so if 
the item counter of all distances is less than 101 like that then we'll pen down and then we'll set y divided negative 1500 divided by item counter of all distances and we'll duplicate that again so we'll set y to 1500 divided by item counter of all distances and then we'll pen up and we'll also change counter by 1 and we will change x by 5 now that is done and uh yeah so now our maze is done now let's make the wind sprite actually working so in the player we will put in a if x y position is more than 150 then we will broadcast win okay and the y150 is right above the maze so like that so in the u win sprite you'll put in one green flag clicked you'll hide and then when i receive win you'll show we'll stop all and before that we'll go to x zero y zero so now let's test the full game that just gonna clean up everything and now if we test the game we have a full looking maze game so we can see the map and yeah so we are going the right way and then go right go left go there and i have pretty memorized the maze okay this here and here here and right here and there's the way out so we're just going to go straight and if we go out you win so that is it guys thank you for watching please leave a like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye